We're here at the ITU studio and I'm very pleased to be joined by Caroline Greenaway, who is Director of the ITU and Treaties Section of the Spectrum, Treaties and Internet Governance Branch of the Department of Broadband Communications and the Digital Economy for Australia. And she's also Chair of the Standing Committee for Administration and Management at the ITU Council. Caroline, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. It's a pleasure. It's been a very busy year for the ITU and I wanted to talk to you about the ITU Council that's going to be meeting over the next few days and uh, to ask you what are going to be the major challenges and major issues that are going to be discussed? For the Administration and Management Committee, that provides the opportunity for Council members to really get into the nitty gritty and get to discuss in detail a lot of the financial and human resource challenges that are facing the organisation at the moment and going ahead over the next few years. They're the same type of uh, challenges that are facing all of the member states, I think, um, in terms of the impact of the global financial crisis, dealing with diminished revenues, and all of the demands that are being placed upon the ITU for all of the work that it does very well. Um, if you keep doing something well, people keep wanting more. So it's being able to manage your organisation efficiently, but not lose what it is that makes it the effective organisation that it has been to date. And in terms of the work of your committee, wh why is your committee important and, uh, and what are the particular challenges you're going to be facing? Because it does give that opportunity for greater scrutiny and discussion about some of these issues. They're raised in council more generally initially, but then they get to my committee and that's the opportunity to really put the forensic gaze upon all of the detail and uh, have all of the member states nut out and present their own views and ideas about how they think uh, issues should be addressed. So. That's going to be quite a challenge this year, I think. Um, there are a number of difficult budget issues that we are facing. Um, the ITU, in a number of the HR areas, I think, is going forward in leaps and bounds, really, and they are making some major innovations in the way that they're dealing with their staff. I think that's been noticeable over the past couple of years, and I see that continuing. I mean, this is a, a process that, uh, that usually uh, goes on uh, without people really noticing it too much outside of the organisation, obviously. Um, how would you, you, you explain it to people who, who aren't a party to it, who haven't experienced it? It's quite a vigorous and an open discussion, and I think there's also the opportunity, if things are getting bogged down in too much detail during the actual meeting itself, you can form smaller working groups that can get together and actually dig down and try and come up with an accommodation. Because that's what we're all about, really. We're trying to get a consensus outcome here. So we want to move forward. So we'll discuss all of our different views on the issues at hand and then hopefully come forward with a solution. And in terms of uh, o the Australian perspective, what's the Australian perspective on, on the ITU uh, Council and the developments that have been uh, uh, happening over the last year and, 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 f and for the future? We've been a member of ITU Council for decades now. We've had a very close working relationship, which uh, we are very proud of with the ITU and we do a lot of work with the ITU development sector, particularly with the regional office, which is based in Bangkok for the Asia Pacific region. So we hope to continue and build on that good relationship. Caroline Greenaway, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.